Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining today's Words of Wisdom with Prayers. Today, many people are suffering from many difficulties. So first, let us pray for the happiness of the people all over the world. All right, so today's Words of Wisdom is material poverty comes from spiritual poverty. What an impressive word, isn't it? Actually, this month, I had a lot of opportunity to talk with religious people uh, who are very religious, but not so high status rich people. And it's my impression, and such kind of people, I think such kind of people often think like uh, rich people do not have faith or love. Or uh, love is more important than wealth. Indeed. In the Bible, uh, Jesus tells us it is easier for camel to go through the eyes of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. This is a very famous uh, word, but Master Liu Hokawa often says that this word is world widely misunderstood because this word is the word for scoring the people who think, uh, who have a lot of powers and uh, uh, assets, and uh, think that I uh, look down on God of faith and think that uh, wealth is much more important than faith. So this is what that Jesus scored such kind of people. But this word is not uh, denying wealth itself. Actually. Faith and wealth, love and wealth, are not opposite. Rather, they are one and same, because the God of love is also a God of prosperity. The modern Messiah, Master Li Hokawa, teaches us a te teachings that unites love and prosperity. That is the teachings of happy science, of course, and uh, this is exa exactly what this today's theme meaning. In other words, if your mind is truly filled with love, it will surely return to you as non wealth. Because essence of wealth is that how many people you have benefited, or how much you are appreciated by people. That is the original value that was measured by money. If your mind is truly filled with love, you can do great work which benefit many people and it will re uh, th that work will come back to you as no wealth. Such kind of people will surely trusted my many people, and many people will try to help you. So, therefore, a person who, will, who is full of love will never continue to suffer in poverty. If you say you are religious and loving, but you have been suffering in poverty for a long time, it means that your mind is not truly filled with love. It means that your faith is only idea or in words and not in practice. It means that you are not doing work that is beneficial to other people. This is the meaning of material poverty comes from spiritual poverty. It is a very severe teaching, I think, but your financial situation right now might be expressing the situations of your mind. Of course, we, we don't have to seeking wealth be, which beyond your needs. And uh, if your worldly attachment uh, grown up then becomes stronger than your faith, it means you are making great mistakes. However, we are living in this economic framework and 
we have to ha get, get a job to achieve financial independence, to live in this world happily. This situation itself actually is very important for training your soul. So please don't deny wealth, or please don't use being religious as a justification of poverty or criticism wealth. Deny wealth. True faith will bring you true enrichment. First, fill your heart with love. Practice your love at your home or at your office. This is the most simple way to escape from poverty and realize enrichment. Okay, this is today's words of wisdom. And now let us recite Happy Science Prayers. Lord Elkantare, Master Liu Ho Kawa, thank you very much for giving us your great light every day. We practice the principles of happiness, love, wisdom, self-reflection, and progress to make the world better with our brothers and sisters. With our gratitude, we will recite the true words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord, and prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. The true words spoken by Buddha, Ryuho Okawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven. Through the prism of Buddha, there appear the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is a cloud of teaching. White is a cloud of saving. Red is a cloud of justice. Purple is a cloud of obedience. Blue is a cloud of thinking. Green is a cloud of harmony. Silver is a cloud of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buddha land. Buddha land is shining brightly because of gathering of body surface. This is a land of love or the land of mercy. This is a land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is a land of souls rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirit. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of life. Each of you sells them as a small boat, so you need a boatman. If, if it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock, and you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true words. When you go down rapid stream, you need to punch in a stream then you can change your course. The true words means the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true words, and Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days. Or to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now, here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by. Yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your mind. That is a reason why you should understand other people and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, 
both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other. And it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law, which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching a rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite sad people to Buddha land. Now here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of body surface. Believing that the light has reality, believing that love has reality, believing that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of body surface, get together, work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here we bow to do so. Prayer to the Lord. Our Lord El Cantare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O oh Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love, Earth. Protect us from all evil, and open our future for us. O oh Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to Guardian and Guiding Spirits. My Guardian and Guiding Spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and the shield of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks. Right, thank you for joining. Have a wonderful day. Bye.